Alright, so I'm doing Guild Wars um, semi early, a um, lot earlier than I usually do it. Uh, as you can see, it's still pretty late compared to like where they are. Um, before we take a look at that, uh, I did move some gear around because uh, we had free gear removal, and I was kind of thinking about experimenting with some stuff. Uh, if you saw my SSB video, uh, she's missing her little chest there. I don't use her a lot that often anyway. And if I do need to use her, I'll just re gear her. <laughs> Um, I didn't change a whole lot, but if you saw my SSB summoning video, I uh, changed this so that she's on lifesteal now. A little less survivability, but like I said, I think with some upgrades and whatnot, I can um, I can I can make her I can make her work a lot pretty well. Uh, she's a little faster than she used to be. She's got more crit chance, um, a lot more attack. She had like 42 before, uh, but yeah. So you know. Uh, one of the main things that made me want to go with lifesteal was not only uh, these pieces here, but like all my lifesteal gear rolled pretty well except for a lot of speed that SSB doesn't necessarily want, but I guess it won't hurt her so much. Um, as you can see here, 28 attack is pretty good with health is what she wants, crit chance and speed. Uh, on top of the fact that generally the, the lifesteal stuff tends to have um, a lot of the stats that she wants. Uh, one of the biggest complaints you can always have about lifesteal is not enough crit damage and um, you know the best lifesteal stuff never has crit damage on it uh, but SSB while crit damage is good on her um, you want more attack just because of the Rengar's the interaction with Rengar's drink and, and whatnot um, so you know this is what kind of inspired me was you know health attack and crit chances which she needs which is pretty good she needs defense but uh, you know we'll have to make do I uh, like this, so 28% is rolled pretty well here. Again, I could have done without without that speed roll. Uh, maybe health roll would have been nice. Uh, this is one of the better pieces that I really liked. I got this from the Queen. Uh, it doesn't have health, which is one of the bigger issues, but I mean 16% attack, that's like two max rolls. Plus 16% crit chance, plus um, like raw attack is, is about as damage dealy as this piece can get. Um, Again, this is just experimentation, so if I, if I feel like this isn't enough uh, survivability and maybe I can just drop the attack a little, uh, in that case I would run something like, uh, where's the other, like the actual Abyss Lifesteal helmet that we got, this one. Uh, 22 HP, so it gets her up to about 1500, which is, you know, around where you want your SSB. Of course, again, defense, 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 so we always want to make sure it's like a little higher. Um, but in this case, uh, uh, I don't have enough defense out of any of these pieces to, to really go there. Um, we lose 10 crit chance, which kind of sucks, so she's at 74. Um, but yeah, so I mean, I'd probably go with this, but for right now, I'm liking the way it is now, this way. Um, again, 24 HP is nothing to sneeze at. 13 speed, again, speed's a little too high for what I wanted. Um, effectiveness is always decent, and the crit chance is a bit low. Uh, if I had like one roll, one I think I had got one roll, so maybe one more roll. And I think that's like a low roll. I think I had like a five or a four. I got like a two, which kind of sucks, but you know it is what it is. Um, but yeah, so so this piece is is pretty decent for her. Again, speed is is going to come up a lot. Uh, this is the other one, uh, sixty five flat, so that's good. But also, what came out really well was this uh, thirty percent HP. Again gonna come up a lot the speed was a little more than I really wanted um, but yeah so uh, this piece I, I rolled it a little while back 20% HP flat de uh, defense um, this piece is a bit is kind of interchangeable with the, the let's see where is it this piece here so it's between this piece where are you this piece and this piece right so this piece has uh, six percent defense, which means it had a defense, it had defense there, and then it rolled into defense once or once. Um, and that's kind of what this flat one did. It had this flat, and then it rolled in here once. Um, the thing is, with this, the stat, the base with the roll, was not enough to overcome the base with the roll on the flat. So I, I left the flat on there just because, again, I, she is starting for a little bit of. Um, Defense. I don't know if she benefits more from flats than than percentages. Like overall, like like if we took a sixty here, a sixty percent uh, defense, and then we took 
like like this one and then we took like a flat comparatively i don't know which one's better on her um i feel like the defense the flat defense is better but you know again that's uh that's that's something to experiment with later um, but yeah all these rest of these stats are pretty good crit damage um i would have liked the uh, 12 crit chance instead and then the, the hp is pretty high which is really what i wanted um this is a pretty this isn't like the best candidate for um turning into 90 gear but i feel like i might uh turn it into 90 um give her more hp and all that uh and then this is one of my favorite boots i've had for a long time 10 crit chance uh nine damage uh seven effectiveness with the hp at 19 is pretty good uh, so yeah, uh, the only the, the main thing is of course these can't be boosted, but maybe boosting this someday and then finding better boots and boosting those uh, could probably get her to what I want. So I mean, ideally what I want is like uh, 1,000 defense or more. Uh, I can I can I don't want to go any lower than 45, but you know, of course higher is always would always be better. Uh, maybe with some of this stuff boosted and like this stuff boosted, I can get up to 48, uh, and then 15. K HP, uh, with these like other stats can be whatever they are. Um, of course, you want more crit chance, but she's fine considering how much she AOE's and basically every time she has twos, it's free damage. Um, but yeah, so just kind of going over that. Uh, who's the other character? There's another one. I've changed. Uh, I changed Charles. Uh, he's tankier, does more damage. Um, so basically, it, I just kind of accentuated his uh, his aspects. Uh, I was I, I talked a, a while ago in another video that I don't I prefer the damage over the health, but if I can get damage and health, then that's of course ideal. Uh, the biggest problem, as you can see here, is just abysmal speed and the fact that he's not on counter set. This speed would be all right if he was on counter set, because then you'd have like you know, 16k HP with you know 4,000 4, attack and 1,200 defense would be great uh, and like literally no speed um, with about this crit chance and crit damage would be great but I don't have counter set so this is kind of what I'm stuck with I'm just this is this this would be amazing if I had the counter set because like if they hit him he can take hits to counter or if they decide to ignore him because maybe he's really slow he can still hit other people so that's kind of the you wanted to put them in that situation of I can either focus him or I can ignore him. It's the only two options uh, you're left with in, in any scenario. So if I focus him, he's going to counter, and if I ignore him, he's going to counter because of Albrus. And of course, I don't have the maxed Albrus either. So uh, right now, again, this, he's sort of in you know like as good as he can be. Uh, wish he was better, but uh, I don't have the for one, I don't have the Albruses to I don't have the Albruses to to max this, and he's I don't have counter set so. Uh, 90 gear, 90 gear here, all this stuff is just basically what he needs. Um, I do need to replace this, but it's got good stats on it. 22% uh, health is what I was looking for there, and more crit chance. Uh, the speed, probably could drop that. Uh, and I want a 90 this piece here. Boost this up to 30%, or probably I think it goes up to like 32, I don't remember. Um, but 30, per, uh, you know, 30 something percent defense with the uh, a little more crit damage. I, I, you know, I'm gonna get I think three percent here, maybe two, three percent here, um, and that would put him over uh, 300 per, 300 percent uh, critical hit damage, which is what I want. I don't like to go anywhere under 300, um, and crit chances is a little over 80, which is good because then um, over time you'll just kind of imprint him, and he he gets like 16. That's it's, you know you round up to 20, uh, so 80 and over is good. So 84 percent is the sweet spot you want to hit with his crit chance there. Um, but yeah, so those are the main two. I, I ungeared her. I ungeared Violet. I finally got a maxed um, whatever. Oh, and here's another one. So she's finally finished, fully awakened, and everything. These are her stats: 166. She's a little slow, but I focus more on damage with her. Um, ideally, you want like the 300, like crit, 350 crit damage, and then you know like 50 crit chance. Uh, my pieces. This is just kind of how the pieces rolled. Um, this 22 speed on a 78. I really wish I had the. This was like an 85 piece, and it'd have like a serious, uh, what was it like 27 or something uh, speed piece? That'd be amazing. But uh, of course, it's 78. I got speed here. Now this, here's a, here's a, a leak here. I probably want something like crit damage here, but I really didn't need that speed from there. My uh, uh, crit damage ring rolled a lot of speed, so I was like, oh well, we'll just throw it on here and. and um, 
take advantage of that in that case. Uh, this one turned out the way it turned out. Um, see, I wish I had more like attack here and less crit chance and maybe there's crit damage. Or uh, not crit damage, but you know, just something else. But uh, I got a roll here, which could have been that. And but anyway, yeah, that's sort of complaining about rolls. Uh, so she just there's really no good offset for her. I mean, she she can't use uh, effectiveness set. She can't use uh, she can use crit set, but like I'm already over capping, and I'm not even trying to like I'm trying as little as possible to get crit chance, and already like way more crit chance than she needs. Um, this is another damage leak. Uh, this could be crit damage like ten. 20% more crit damage, but I really did like this uh, 14 speed I have on here, and if I uh, boost it, it goes up to 18, kind of sucks, you really want to hit, if you're going to boost a speed, uh, piece specifically for the speed, you really want to hit at least 20, but you know, it is what it is, uh, and then, uh, oh, it's just, uh, this boot here rolled with 26 crit damage, so that's why I went with that on her, so these two separate, and then you want the crit damage set. Uh, but other than that, that, that should be it. Yeah, that should be it. Uh, I, I geared her for RTA, but it, it's kind of hard to use her because I don't have a lot of um, pushers. Anyway, let's get back to what I was supposed to be doing here is Guild Warm. I just thought I'd show off some of the units that I changed uh, thanks to free gear removal. Uh, so let's go take a look at what this is. So, they have a, a huge amount of... They have a huge uh, fortress here. They've got 1600 HP, which... It's pretty crazy. Um, it seems to have less members than we do, so we have more tokens. Uh, we're probably, I think we'll end up winning regardless. Yeah, so I think I'm just gonna attack all, all the all the main towers here. So far, that's two out of three, and so they're all three here. So I think I'm just gonna hit all three of these. Uh, what's this one at here? Let's just hit this one first. Let's get it out of the way. Uh, four losses, so this doesn't seem too bad. Let's take a look here what I can do. Um, so here, I can't use s 10 I took some gear off of her and I'll have to like re-gear her and I really don't want to do that right now. I think this is good. Um, well, I think I want... Let's go with uh, you here, and then maybe like, uh, where are you, you here? Maybe, maybe I want that, yeah, I think I want this. Um, unfortunately, I'm not gonna focus him, which kind of sucks. Uh, she's gonna S3 him, she's gonna do that, and he's gonna hit her, so I hit him, so. Okay, so the question is, do I want that happening? I guess, man, I can't believe I've run this team so many times now. Well, not so many times. It's just like it's weird that it keeps coming up. Um, is this a good team? Probably not. Um, it kind of spreads out of their attacks. They're just gonna attack whoever's lowest. So if I can keep like them two topped off and they focus him, they'd be good. And then just have him like nuke him. Um, the only problem is uh, if I kill, so I'll probably kill him at some point. Uh, the only problem is leaving her here with her, and then she just like dual attacks with her all the time. And I'm probably gonna. I think they can do more damage than I can sustain. Is is the point? Hmm. I think I'm gonna go with that. Let's just do that. Down here. Put you there. But uh, this this team down here, I think is gonna I'm gonna lose regardless. There's not much I can do here. Um, yeah, there's not like a whole lot, especially like I ungeared a few of my units. Uh, I have a lot of grass. Hmm. And this AoE, this Charles here, is what's stopping me to a pretty large degree. So I can bring. I can't see. Yeah, uh, that's kind of weird. This is a, this is a good setup here. They've got going. I think I'm gonna pause this and then think about this for a second. 
Okay, so I think I'm gonna go with this. Uh, this up here looks fine. Again, her dual attacking with her feels like kind of. Okay, yeah, sorry about that. Uh, let's see. So these three. Uh, she's not fully awakened. She, she's geared. It's just that like, it's it's decent gear. So hopefully she can like she'll AOE, which is gonna like spark his wrath or whatever. Um, but I think. Actually, I'm not even sure why I'm bringing. Uh, I was bringing him. I think I'm just gonna bring what's her name. There she is. Let's put her there. Um, I think this should be good. Um, she can put him. I can. I think I can put him to sleep with her. Hopefully, consistently, and then and just focus on these two. Ideally, like he'll probably just die pretty fast. Um, which she'll revive him. But yeah, I think him first, then him, and then hopefully her. But. This is kind of sketch on how little damage I have here. I don't know my yeah. This is the first time I'm using Tenebra, so let's just find out, see what happens. Uh, yeah, All right. You've made it this okay, so she went first. Okay, so this is a speed Tenebra. That's kind of interesting. Uh, so who's she gonna hit? She's gonna hit whoever's lowest, I think. Oh, she actually hit her. So that's kind of interesting. Okay. So what we're gonna do here is I'm just... Which is pretty good, because now I can burn uh, the S3 on her, give her immunity, and the heal won't go to waste, and the cleanse either. That's cool. Okay. Uh, for now, let's do... Okay, so he's already kind of low from what happened there. I think, wow, that's crazy. 24,000 exact from, like, weird percentage stats and all that. Um, let's do this. I don't think I want to aggravate Ken too quickly. Okay, let's see how much damage we can hit. That's 10A4. 23, 33... She's a little over half, so that's that's pretty good. Well, let's do this. Okay. Now I need to. I'm just gonna S one. Because if you're gonna if you're gonna AOE with Ken on their side, uh, you really want to do that. Um, you really want to do that like when he doesn't have the attack buff, unless you're just like feeling particularly like risky. Okay, so let's see, she's gonna hit him, which is good, and she's gonna attack. And I get to attack. Okay, so this is where it would be a good time to S3. But I think, let's see. If I S3 and I don't kill him, I think I'm just gonna, he might just kill her. And the problem is, so if he S3s and kills her, he's probably gonna kill him too. Psst. Which kind of sucks. Just do it, why not? I'm getting tired of you. She didn't have attack buff too, so that's gonna suck. Ah, oh, he didn't die, dude. Oh my gosh. I won't go easy on you. And he's dead. Cool. So the reason I the main reason I won that was the um heal block, because if it, it might have been yeah, I don't know. I feel like the yeah, the the heal block was pretty vital, I think, to that. Um, okay. Of course, we got the uh, greater attack buff, so now it's on 17k HP. Let's see what this does. 4,000, that's not bad. Uh, so let's try... What's this do? So I have her on Etika Scepter, so let's just try this. Hopefully I put him to sleep. Nice. That was kind of interesting too. Um, just the idea that this Charles... This is a fast Charles because she's like at 180 something. So that Charles is like 200 speed. Probably something like that. Um, I guess I'll just wake him up. There's really no reason not to. Uh, uh, let's... Okay, so his passive is activated. So I think what's going to happen next... 
I don't know why he's still asleep. It's kind of weird. So what's gonna happen next is she's gonna go, she's gonna S3 him, but his passive's already been clocked, and he's just gonna like, do basically nothing. She's gonna S3 him, he's gonna take his turn, I'm just gonna kill him afterwards, cause he's, he's, he's pretty squishy. He's got like 11,000 HP, but he, he just takes, he just eats damage basically. Um, yeah, that's kind of weird. I don't know why he didn't wake up. I mean, he's awake now, just because of what was going to happen anyway. Uh, which is good, because now uh, Charles still has the defense break, which... Uh, okay, so he has defense break, which leaves him more vulnerable to her S2. Let's just hit you here. So I want as much damage on him as possible right now, because... Because of that. Um, I wasn't sure if I'd be able to kill him. Uh, miss? Cool. Yeah, so didn't turn out the way I wanted it to. So next she's going to trigger her S2 on him, which is pretty annoying. Uh, so let's just put damage on him. Oh, oh, oh! I think she's an S2. Come on, K-Ron, please, K-Ron. Yes, okay. Good, so now I can just kill Charles. Uh, S1, let's do... Oh, there we go, see? Etika's procced or some shit. I don't know, that, that was weird. Uh, I get increased damage, so let's just burn it. Why not? Um, that's pretty cool. See? Tenebria is like a damage dealing dizzy. It's really weird. And if she dies, I can revive her with... What's her name over here? She's not dead, but I think I'm just gonna um, do this anyway. Uh, so there, this is this is the problem, this is why you don't want to run a slow, or not slow, it isn't about the speed, I mean, um, this is why you don't want to run such a low F res. Um, who do I heal here? Yeah, I guess I'll just, this is why you don't want to, such a, want to run such a, a low F res Ruel, because this shit happens all the time. Uh, so let's just hit you. Let's do this. It's weird that he keeps attacking her. I guess it's like the HP thing, but still, it does seem a little weird. Okay, so she resisted that. Oh my gosh! This whole game, this whole match has just been cycling. I have not used her S1. I've been looking forward to use her S1 just to put someone to sleep. <laughs> she just keeps um, burning one into the other. It's kind of weird. Is it? Yeah, I don't know. That's weird. It's crazy. Okay, so she should be dead here, really. She's, she's not fast enough. Uh, let's do this. There you go. Regular Tenebrio. Putting in work. Damn it, now I gotta go, like, put more effort into her. <laughs> um, yeah, that was amazing. I didn't actually think it, it was gonna go that well. Um, so there you go. Uh, Tenebrio. Don't sleep on her. Ex unless she puts you to sleep, in which case that's fine. Um, so 80, so that's pretty good. Go hit this one. Uh, actually, well, before, let's go see how my fort's been doing. Um, so this is my thing here. This one, I feel this one's going to be pretty good. This one is kind of weak, and I might put, now that I've seen how Tenebria can do, I might put her down here in, in some sort of, some, some way. Um, but yeah. I gotta go, uh, yeah, I gotta go build Tenebri up a lot more. Okay, so... You're... Let's see, how am I gonna do this? Let's put you here. And you here. Hopefully we can survive this. Okay, so I need a, a light bait here. So let's put... So she's, he's an AoE. He's gonna do this, do that. Oh, these are all light baitable. Um, no, nah, let's not do that. Yeah, this is crazy. I need to. I need more fused nerves for her uh, final awakening. There. She's gonna die here. Um, there's really no if ands or buts about it. She's just gonna die. But let's do this. So he's going to AoE, she's going to AoE, uh, she's going to focus her, okay? I'm 
Okay. Yeah, I think that's good. Uh, the only problem is going to be him dying. Yeah, I think, you know what? <sighs> this is hard. Um, I really want to just put CC here to, to ensure they all survive. I don't. The, the problem there is I don't know who any of these guys are going to focus on. She, these two are going to AoE, which is fine. Um, it's just her, because she can kill this one. She can probably kill him, I think. I'm fairly certain, even with the shield on. The problem is, I just need people to attack anybody that isn't him, and I think they might, hopefully they focus her, and not, well, one of these two, and then he can just kind of counter from there. Um, this... Uh, actually... What if, I put, what if I do this? So he can S3 him when the time comes. He will do what he does. He does. She does. She'll heal. I just need to make sure he's topped off by her. Um, so down here, she's gonna attack her. He's just gonna hit whatever the hell. I guess I can do this. Okay. Yeah. I had her here because I didn't want anybody to die. Like, well, if they did die, I'd just revive them. But I think the way to go about this is like this. Let's just see what happens. All right, Charles. Let's see what she can do in Guild War. Uh, yep. Let me hit the one I wanted. I mean, of course, it's, it's she's water, so. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, she's dead. She's just dead. It's over. That was like the biggest reservation I had. So now, basically, it's just free. Um, what I gotta do now is uh, antagonize, just bait, what's his name, into... Uh, twenty-one hundred. See, this is why it's not... So you saw that she had 21,000 21, HP. Uh, she crit, and she did like 3,000 damage to, like, here and there. Uh, I think everybody took 3,000, I'm not sure. But like, my CC does 3,000 damage on a non-crit, um, and she's got 29,000 HP, which means the H the barrier is bigger. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, personally, I just think um, higher HP is the way to go, and, and a lot of people who try to make her bruisery, bruisery and like high crit and all that stuff are kind of like, you know, you can accomplish the same thing by just like not sacrificing too much for crit, and then uh, building, oh man, he's at 13, so he can hit for 10,000 right now. Do I want an S3? Yeah. Let's see how this goes. Yeah, because if you're gonna ask three, you just need to do it now. Because when he gets this attack buff, it's 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 very suspicious. Okay, I think he's dead. Come on, please. Damn it. Uh, let's do. Actually, it's funny because my Charles is like 120 something speed, and he still went before that can. I think what's gonna happen now is she's gonna focus him. I think this is over anyway, it doesn't really matter. Cause she's gonna hit she's gonna try to hit um Ruel and get hit by Charles for five thousand HP plus whatever the barrier was. The barrier's kinda small, so it's probably like my bar at three at thirty thousand HP, the barrier is uh forty five hundred. She's significantly less, so I'd probably like maybe 3,000 barrier. Anyway, it's doing math for no reason. Uh, let's just kill him and get this over with. Yeah, so 5,000 plus whatever that barrier was, which is maybe 3,000. That's like 8,000 damage on an S1. It's ridiculous. Uh, so let's get rid of this. Uh, S1. 8,000. So yeah, that, I, I guesstimated it right. So she has around 3,000 HP barrier. Uh, I want to see this S1 again. So she's gonna S1 me 
for 1800 damage. You see, like my my CC hits for about 18 to 2000 damage, like on a non crit. And then if I do crit, then that's there, this cherry on top. She's only got like 40% crit chance. Um, but yeah, that's, that's kind of what I'm saying. Is like I feel like HP is really the way to go. Uh, running around trying to build her with like, oh, crit chance, bruiser, like have her like deal damage. Just to me, it doesn't seem uh, too valuable. All right, so here's the. See, okay. Okay, so things went they went pretty well, I think. Um, so this is an interesting point. I think I should. I'm gonna save this right here, so that when like he gets low, I can kill him with this, and he comes back and he hits basically nothing. So let's just focus her, cause she's kind of a 50/50. You just kill her. Oh, she's got counter set. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, I want immunity on her, but there's nothing left. Like, there's no more um, debuffs left, so I'm just gonna use this. Okay. So... We survived that. I think I'm just gonna use this. Uh, the only problem I have is maybe... Um, Mercy over there is gonna counter me. Of course, I missed both of them. Which is good. Okay. Okay, she's still low. Okay, and here's another S2. Alright, Mercy die, damn it. She was close. Uh, let's heal you up. Because she's eating uh, SSB's damage. Um, so she's gonna hit. Do no damage. Um. Let's just do. I'm just gonna do this now. Because I'm gonna kill Mercer because it doesn't matter whether she dodges or not. Uh, I should. Let's do this. Okay, so this is. Yeah, this is fine. We're good. Uh, let's see if I can hit him. Hopefully he dies. Yeah, he's dead. Okay, cool. There you go. That's how you uh, outskill um, the AI who's using Buildred, who is basically comparable to what, like a plastic bag full of rocks. So. At least we're at least that intelligent, I think. Okay. It's always interesting. It, it, it doesn't come up that often, but sometimes it's like worrisome because I've had it before where people have put their um, what's his name, their villagers on enough speed that like he'll consistently get his freaking uh, his S two off, like. He, he, re he refreshes the cooldown on that and then just revives himself. It's always, it's always a bit nerve-wracking, um, but it should be fine. Uh, let's do this. Um, I'm gonna wait for that barrier to fall off, just because right now it's like, no damn, we're not doing any damage to him. Okay, so this, this rose is a little tankier than I really feel comfortable with. Hit you. Okay, so she's dead. And now we're basically home free. I can just hit you over and over again. Oh, he slept. He's not dodging anymore, which is pretty nice. I think even if he dodges this hit, he should die anyway. I'm just burning it for no reason. Um, let's see what happens here. I beat him on turn 69 too. It turned into his. It turned into twenty twenty sixty eight, but it was sixty nine when he lost. And here would be the last one. This is similar to the last one where they have a bunch of dark threats here. Mm. Hmm. I think this is this is what I'm gonna go with. Yeah, if I'm gonna lose any of them, it'll be this one. <laughs> I really want to. Now I really want to take. Uh... I want to take uh, Tenebri again down here. I mean, she did well for me last time against these two. Um. 
Damn. But I, I really do think just farming... This is a... Because the way it is now, he has a chance to focus SSB. I guess it ultimately comes down to how much um, FRES these people have, like basically just stats. Um, I think this up here might do well. It's just that this time we have uh, you, we have uh, Avil here, so he can strays can hit uh, Charles, which makes this a little less of a good idea. Yeah, I think this is fine though. Um, the only one I have problems with is down here. He, he tends to crit water a lot. Um, but I think I'm just gonna wing it. But uh, this has been this has been a good experience whether I lose this one or not because now I know that Tenebria can do work and I need to go build her. Uh, give her a proper uh, building there. Okay, she hits well. Uh, does no damage basically and gets hit again. So that's that's twice already today that I got the lucky Charles. Uh, so yeah, that's cool. Um, I am going to. This is really a this is a really bad idea, but I think I want to. I'll make you immune. Yeah, let's do that. This is a really bad idea. I wouldn't suggest doing this, but whatever. Um, I'm burning the revive now. Hopefully she'll turn cycle enough to get it, but you know, again, here's hoping. Uh, so let's do you. Let's aggravate you. Okay, good. Got the counter. Okay, now it's just a matter of surviving this S3. Good. And he got the counter attack. And uh, I didn't get the, I don't have the, uh, I have the hit debuff thing. Uh, let's do this. So the thing is, I'm probably not gonna crit. Yeah. So well, did I miss? I think I'm. Oh, and he's still counterattacked anyways. But I have the um, immortality. Um, so this is this is getting kind of sketch here because now this happens. He's at 1,000 HP. So what I'm gonna do now is uh, I'm gonna heal you. Let's see, heal you. I'm going to S3. You okay? So this is this is basically over. Um. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I need to. Hopefully he doesn't die from this. Oh. Uh. Let's see. Yeah, he's gonna die from this regardless. Uh, here comes this. So if Ruel dies here, it's fine. We still have this, I think. Um, okay, so she didn't die, which is basically the only... And there's that. It's basically the only reservation I had there. Um, so let's do it again. Okay. So that went well. I think I'm liking Charles on this. Uh, my main reservations was that he had too little uh, speed and he was just gonna get like shat on by everything. But I think um, I think it's fine the way, the way he is now. Yeah, I didn't even get past the barrier, so I feel like right. It's not that big a deal. I don't think I want to burn a heal at all. But I really should. She has taunt, but she's gonna hit her probably because she has low HP. He's gonna S3 her again because she has lowest HP. And then he, if he attack debuffs her, it's gonna suck. But I think I can just cleanse it. So I think yeah, I think I'm just gonna like hit you again and again. Uh, again, so here's 2100. She crit all three, so I think she's on crit. So she's hit for 3,000. Again, like... Oh, uh, we can't... Oh, okay, here, we get to see mine. So let's take a look at what kind of damage I can put out here. So I think... Uh, I don't know what their their um, their HP is at. Oh, well, whatever. Let's just hit this anyway. 
So let's see if we can get some sort of damage numbers out of this. So 16 and 18 here off the crit. Um, I don't know how much barrier they had. The barrier was about as big as how much life he's missing right now, I think. I want to say that. So we can just take that number, maybe reduce it and double it. So let's say it was 1,500. It's 18 doubled, it's 36, right? But that doesn't look exactly like... It. Maybe it was the barrier was a little bit smaller than what's missing there. So yeah, again, so about 3,000 uh, on a crit. Mm, that actually, yeah, I guess maybe it is a little, bit a little bit higher. But I think, you know, the barrier itself is just better in general. Um, so I'm just gonna use this here. Uh, if he counters, he'll hit me with the first attack and won't do anything and then the second attack will. It is what it is. And I missed on him. And he didn't even counter, so there you go. And he's attacking someone else. Cool. This is all going a lot better than really you can hope for. Again, it's that same thing. And then I got the... See, so there you go. So that's like... SFB is basically the counter to... Um, to... What's his name? Um, this guy here with the k -Ron. Um Just because the unbuffable keeps him from being able to become immortal and basically keeps him from getting any buffs at all, right? So his AoEs don't, don't work. Um, let's, I'm just going to focus him just because he's got the defense break. Like Even if I miss, look at it. I, I made it through the uh, barrier there. And she doesn't have any whatevers, but that's fine. Uh, let's just do this. Okay, now I get the S2. Okay, so I think I'm gonna focus. Actually, I kind of, I really do kind of need to focus um, him. But I'm just gonna hit her. Let's hit her with this. See what happens. Yeah, because I, I, I don't think this guy has Elbrus. Because I think it should. I mean, I should have procked at least once. Um, but oh no, yeah, I don't know. Has it procked? Maybe I'm not paying attention. This fast Charles is a weird idea. He's taking. He's kind of tanky just because. Um, FCC is is tanky, but uh, other than that, it's like it's a really weird setup he's got here. Um, let's hit you. Let's hit you. Three thousand. There you go. So there you go. Um, three for three. Yeah, I think. I'm gonna do a little more testing. I might have like an RTA video today or tomorrow or at some point up, um, just to see how they work. I think the Charles, if anything, like Charles isn't very good in RTA generally, um, but I'm gonna try him out anyway. Um, I think 124 speed is obviously abysmal, but I think uh, Charles is, is making it work. Um, what I used to have him before was at least like I wanted him faster than SSB just so the so that he uh, S threes and then SSB gets the uh, attack buff and then she has her turns. But I think, hmm, yeah, I think I think this is fine regardless because um, now Charles isn't so much as a support damage dealer as he is a focal damage dealer, uh, and the attack buff is just it's just nice to have. Um, but yeah, so I think I think the problem with Charles is that. Um, no amount of speed makes him relevant, especially for what stats you're giving up. As you saw, we had fast Charles, we had tanky Charles, and none of them did anything at all. Um, I think that last Charles just had unlucky um, RNG with the Elbrus procs. Uh, I'm not sure, but um, Charles is like 50/50. I mean, of course he's you know depending on how much they trigger. Oh, what's going on here? How much they trigger this, right? Uh, it's not really 50, it's like either from 20 because it's max, if, if you're thinking about it max, if it's 20 for a basic attack or about 60 for an AoE attack. Um, so it's anywhere from there. So there's a lot of variance. And I think if you're going, if you're, it's an uphill battle to get him to do anything, right? Basically is what is what the point is. Um, and so since you're running, since you're rolling the dice a lot on whether or not he'll act, he'll actually do anything, my thought process on it is if those dice come up seven and he finally gets to do something and he doesn't have enough damage 
then you went through all that trouble to get him to proc something or, or you know, you wasted RNG to get him to do something and the something he's doing is of minimal impact. Whereas now, again, you're still fighting RNG, but this time if RNG goes in your favor, he's just going to demolish something. Um, that's sort of my, my thought process on it. Um, like, no amount of speed is ever going to make him worth anything with, you know, the understanding that, like, you're sacrificing a bunch of other stats. Uh, an amount of tankiness is going to make him worth anything if, if you're sacrificing damage. Um, fortunately, with this set, I could give him a lot of damage with health and all this other stuff. Um, but yeah, so like I said, I really do favor, you know, I think you should go, I think it's crit damage, attack, and attack. And then um, get uh, run with a uh, counter set. Uh, but I think where he is now, he's generally alright. Um, losing counter set... Yeah, losing counter set is a big deal, but I think where he's at now is is not the worst worst position for him to be in. Um, but yeah, so I think I'm just gonna stick with him with this set for now. Um, I was hesitant before, but I think um, given what I just said, it, it, it'd be, it's kind of hard for me to think about um, not uh, not running him like this. Uh, I think I'm just gonna boost. I'm also probably gonna boost this later, and he'll be at a uh, higher defense. Uh, 80 crit chance and um, over 300 crit damage. Uh, the effect resistance is pretty good sometimes. Uh, you just like randomly resist certain things. Um, of course, against like real debuffers, uh, you won't do anything. Uh, so let's take a look at my Tenebria, my S10A here, or my regular Tenebria. See, it was on Etika's, which was kind of crazy how quickly it, it uh, proc everything. Even though, um, yeah, it was basically just three and two the whole time, like every turn, just three and two, and that was it. Which is pretty insane. Um, now it's making me want to not only like build Tenebria, but boost this up. This seems pretty crazy. Uh, but this is my Tenebria. We got this ring, which I was like, kind of half of like the inspiration was like, okay, I rolled this. Okay, I got a lot of effectiveness. She was supposed to be here as like a supplemental thing uh, alongside um, Dizzy. Just to have more debuffs or alongside, uh, what's his name? Zerato. Uh, one of those two, just because one of them, I I've been switching my El my uh, Ayelas back and forth between each one, but I think I'm just going to keep it on Dizzy. Um, I think there's a, a better, you just get more out of it from Dizzy. But anyway, that's a discussion for another video. Um, but yeah, I mean, I just kind of slapped this together, you know, with whatever I had, and it turned out, it, I guess it turned out pretty alright. Um, crit damage here, of course, uh, attack here, crit chance, pretty low health, speed, I, I really would have wanted a little more speed. Um, the effectiveness is, is pretty good, almost 100. Uh, speed is, uh, this is speed, crit damage, and attack, so this turned out pretty well. Uh, this was a piece I was trying to run on Charles, and then I maxed it, and all these rolls are, like, atrocious, so I didn't run it on him, and it's just sitting there. Uh, so I just gave it to her. Uh, crit chance, I, I kept this, well, it's got effectiveness, it's got a whole lot of crit chance. I'm not running a crit, um... A crit chance set, so I kind of had to find crit chance other places. I uh, just got speed and attack, which is basically what she needed at that time. Uh, this, again, was like for someone else. Uh, crit damage, crit chance, health, and effectiveness. Um, but basically, there's stats that she can use as well. So, unfortunately, I guess the main thing is she doesn't have a, enough HP. I really would like her at like, you know, 10,000 at least. Uh, but let's go take a look at her awakening. What's, what does she get here? Attack percentage. So, do I think awakening that will give her, will boost her up to 3,000 attack? Probably not. Uh, but I think boosting it won't hurt. And I might want to boost this, these boots at some point too, which are 185 and then 190. Uh, so probably that awakening plus maybe boosting this at some point. Uh, will make her a pretty uh, pretty big force to be reckoned with, I think. Uh, and maybe boosting pieces and yeah, but yeah, I, I think for now I'm just gonna go run around looking for um, looking for gear to put on her because she really impressed me in this in this uh, latest match. What does she have? Dual attack chance. Uh, but yeah, so let's see, what does this do? So this does the sleep. Yeah, that gives her attack buff. So this is what makes her, to me, what makes her really good is she can kind of go in by herself. So the fact that her attack is really low. Um, this gives her attack buff, so you're not really missing too much attack. Um, reducing their combat readiness and decreasing speed is is ridiculous. So this is again, this is a very um, dizzy type of skill here. And then 
putting people to sleep 60 I might want to mola this again mola is maybe here somewhere uh, 20 25 30 so 30% 30 but yeah so I mean she's, she's got a lot of damage leaks everywhere put to sleep the caster's counter is increased by 50% which is crazy so uh, yeah I think yeah, I think Eticus is the way to go with her because it's just how many turns she can take so she does this gives her attack buff um, she's not taking you know any advanced turns but like she'll do this decreasing their speed and their combat readiness which basically is like you know a swing in your favor uh, and now that she's got higher speed she can sort of you know outpace them a bit and then uh, hitting sleeping people with this is probably gonna do some serious work so that's pretty cool um, again yeah uh, next time we see her she'll probably be a little better but uh, for now this is where she's at what does she need for her last awakening She needs hard. Oh, I was farming these a while ago, but I had to stop for uh, the side story stuff. But yeah, that's it. Uh, gone on for like an hour now. Um, unintentional uh, Tenebria showcase, so that was pretty cool. But yeah, until uh, next Guild War.